Am I the a-hole for ditching my in-laws? After my wife passed away, I 41M lost my wife, who was 7 months pregnant with our son. When I was 35, I have kept in touch with her parents through the years, despite them being difficult, as I always thought that the pain they have gone through cannot be easy. They didn't like when I started dating, which I understood. They claimed parts of the inheritance that were legally mine, and I just let them have it. As I wasn't with my wife for the money, I gave up something in the vicinity of 80,000 US dollar. During the first years, I had to fight their desire to control my every move. They were constantly checking on my whereabouts, would expect me to console them every time they were sad, and wanted me to keep them informed about any plans I would have, which I don't even do with my own parents. I got married three years ago, and now we are expecting twins, two boys. My former mother-in-law sends me WhatsApp messages and readings around three times per week, so in one of these occasions, I told her we were expecting. Her reaction to this was to give a very short congrats, instantly followed by a claim that I should not forget their daughter and my unborn son. She then changed the subject. Months have gone by, and she has not checked on the pregnancy once, let alone checking on how I'm doing now with all that. It is an abnormally scary experience for me since I lost my wife the last time, but also because I am a little bit older now, 41, so the energy is not the same, and also because it's twins. I feel this is a one-way, energy-draining relationship where they ask and ask from me, but never even care for a second about me as a person or my well-being, as if I was some sort of placeholder for the love they had for their daughter, but couldn't care less for my life or what is going on with me, so I am thinking and just talking to them and ending the relationship. Am I the a-hole if I do this? Here are the top comments. It seems that her parents are still struggling, so they want to watch you struggle too, and that's not at all fair to you. My family lost my oldest sister 29 at the time, and we still keep in touch with her husband. My parents still go to dinner with him at least once a month. When he was ready to start dating again, he talked to my parents and was terrified that the family would be mad at him for moving on, but we all encouraged him to date and find happiness again. You need to move on and find joy with your wonderful new family. You have done nothing wrong. After all the heartache, you deserve to be happy. Remember that you are not their emotional crutch. You even gave them part of the inheritance. Congratulations on your twins. Go live your life in peace. Not the a-hole. I am a widow, and I had to end my relationship with my in-laws because they were also incredibly negative and invasive. I promise you that your life will be easier and your new wife and children will be happier if you end this relationship and move on with your life. Trust me, there is no purpose in continuing to communicate with people who can't find happiness in your happiness. Your late wife obviously not only wanted to have a baby herself, she also wanted you to have a baby. You honor her memory by getting remarried and having twins, and living the life she would have liked to have lived with you. OP replied. Thanks for the kind and wise words. 